Kyle here from allmediareviews.blogspot.com. I'm going to make hopefully a pretty quick video here, but I have 12 minutes left on this this memory. i got to do some more maintenance on this, but on the camera. Uh, I just was going to say it was a week ago. It's, it seems like it's been longer than that. But a week ago that I ended up uh, crossing a million hits on my blog. Uh, 12 years and 3 months. Uh, the blog, allmediareviews.blogspot.com. However, that is reached because a lot of that's just Google traffic from, you know, enough spammy sites and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's been long run and um, I haven't really fully posted all the whole, whole like thoughts about that. I just made this the short entry, but I obviously haven't mentioned it on YouTube. So um, yeah, I mean, is it an accomplishment? I think it kind of is. I mean, I'd like to see other people f be able to pull something like that off when they're not doing it. You know, pro bono as a hobby. I mean, you know, a million fucking hits. Go go try and do that yourself. Maybe you could do it in sooner than twelve years. Maybe it would take you twice that long. I don't know. Um, but what that means going forward, I mean, that was the sort of quote unquote milestone goal that was reached after I made the ten year anniversary deal. Um, it was a million hits because I was I was just getting up there. I would find. Sometimes the I would get thousands, tens of thousands of hits on some of this stuff, and, and rare occasions, but you know, for some baffling reasons, because I don't know, topics about the Mars Volta and Opeth, and a few others, um, I don't know how they did. Whereas there's other entries I posted that I I labored over and spent long amounts of hours that only saw a fraction of the. Uh, the views, but and you know the truth is the the blog I have only has, you know. I don't know, a few dozen maybe regular readers and people that follow me on social media, but um, you know, it's not. I'm not at the million or thousands of subscribers that people show. Um, but people obviously have found it. Uh, so, but what it, what it means next for this blog is, or for me rather, not the blog. The blog is going to continue on for the most part the way it is. Although I'm not going to care about how many hits I get. I don't. I'm not trying to get two million now. Um, I don't at this point, but I do want to pursue and however long it takes me to writing a book. I, the, there's multiple reasons, but the biggest reasons are there's other people that I know, contemporaries and just people that are in music journalism that have written books. My feeling is if they can write a book, why the hell couldn't I? Um, and you know, I would want it to be personal and it would, you know, I've thought about different topics. The obvious kind of potential and sort of the niche of my blog, the largest niche is sort of the progressive college rock stuff. Um, there haven't been too many blog or books uh, specifically about that published that I'm aware of. So um, there's been progressive rock books published. Even those are here and they're not that um, large in quantity, but, you know, so... Um, but it might be on that. It might be on, I was thinking on specific bands. I also, as a sort of a meet in that milestone I want to do when I have time, I was going to do a couple special things. One of the things I was going to just go through Marillion's catalog and just talk about each album maybe a little bit. I haven't done that really. Here and there, I've given comments and posted about it, but I've never done a full like analysis. I'm going to do it in depth, but I'm going to maybe try that. The same I might do for Kevin Gilbert. Um, but... Part of it right now, I'm trying to find a house, and it's getting frustrating. We're finding some properties we like, but trying to buy a house is like playing a wedding and paying for a wedding. It's it's exhaustive. It's a marathon, a journey, and I'm sure it gets easier if you've done it more than once, but there's just a lot that's involved. But I don't want to be spending these, you know, four, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars for to rent an apartment because it's a waste of money. So buying a house is the next best thing. Anyway, yeah, I saw Jimmy Neckel last night. I got a second copy of New Age Heroin 2, the second album from ours. Uh, the, the New Age Heroin 2, the new album from ours that came out in November. Uh, great show. I wrote about it in the blog today. Um, I can't remember if there was anything else specifically, but the, the main thing is, you know, million, million hits. A million, <laughs> one million dollars, you know. So I maybe just pat myself on the back, but uh, you know the people that have followed me or know this YouTube channel or or the blog, 
you know, that's kind of interesting to note, you know, it started in 2006. I wasn't even the one who started it, but, um, it's just a, a labor of love and a hobby, kind of a translation of when I used to do radio. So, but thank you for watching. Uh, give it, you know, give it a like subscribe. I'd love you to subscribe and we'll see you next time.